What is up YouTube? Welcome to the Star Life and welcome to yet another video. In this video, we are going to go to the trenches. And if you guys are new to the channel, you don't know what the trenches are. The trenches are the thrift stores, the bins and the racks. We will hit them both today. Now, currently it is Sunday. However, I've been thrifting all week. So the first couple minutes of this video, I'll show you some of the footage that I got at the Goodwill bins earlier this week. Before I get into it, I just want to say thank you guys so much to everyone who's been liking the videos and commenting. Obviously, the likes and the comments are like human sacrifices for the YouTube algorithm, which brings in new individuals. If you could please take a second, smash that like button down below and show some love in the comments. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you're new here, please subscribe, turn on post notifications. The love you guys have been showing me means the world. I've been really wanting to create more trips to the thrift for quite some time now. I've been mentioning this for like a year, a year and a half. I've been saying it, but I haven't been doing it because it's been really hard to find motivation. But ever since I found that heart-shaped box tee, bro, your boy's been like reinvigorated. I swear, I don't think I've passed a single thrift store that I have not stopped into just to see what they got. I already got a lot of heat for this video. And no, the item in the thumbnail is not fake if you guys want to double check that you can call ryan from scorpio's rising who's the individual that sold it to me he got it from a picker off the bins for ten dollars i bought off him for sixty dollars which is absolutely amazing and i'm really really stoked to see and of course that and a lot of the other items that i find i found a lot of other heat will be for sale on thrift row that's t-h-r-i-f-t-r-o-w make sure you go follow that that's my thrifting page where i resell all that thrifted heat <laughs> <coughs> and then while you're following Thrift Row on Instagram, go follow my personal Instagram, the star, T-H-E-S-T-A-R-L-I-F-E. You will find some vintage heat like this one that I'm currently wearing posted on my personal Instagram very soon. Now let's go back to the past of the Goodwill bins earlier in the week, show you guys some of the pickups that I got. And then let's go back to the future to today and then take you guys along for the ride, the thrifting adventure, the trip to the thrift. Ooh, front row parking? You already know what time it is, baby. The good luck is with us. Hopefully we can uh, find some heat at the Goodwill outlet, baby. All right, I found this little uh, toddler Fila John with some stains all over the chesticle. Someone did, like actually shit on a baby's chest or something. Then you found this. If you guys remember, Supreme recently just copied number nine and used a very similar graphic. Made in Fiji? Ooh, Fiji water? Ooh, water boys. All right, there's a Harley tee that uh, Slu found. Okay, ooh, nice nice jacket, boy. Then we got this Grave Diggers tee right here. This is 2013, but of course, we're gonna pass on both of these. Live in the trenches, guys. As you can see, we got the car heart way too big. You can't really see it, but I'm banging on you right now. Now, we also got this car heart, uh, however, sadly, it's got a broken zipper. I still honestly might just buy this and turn this into a custom piece. And then we got this car heart, which I'm just gonna get for my personal, customize it, do some shit to it. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but this is a great piece to have to work on, you know what I'm saying? Some good workwear to work on, you did. Shorty is ready to blow, and I'm not talking about blow like y'all wish she would, but anyways, oh my goodness, look at that. Little Statue of Liberty, you got the Sacred Heart tattoo. All hustle every motherfucking day. Guys, was is that recording? I'm Infiltrating my audio. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but I, I think I accidentally hung up. Anyways, I'm outside. <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> know. All right, I'll see you in a second. Hey, look at that jacket, boy! Yo, straight from Thrift Row, you dig? You, you dig? Hey, you already know I'm rocking. Hey, 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 hey! I got the green one. We got I should have worn mine today. So I got the Robotist and Poppy hoodie on. You know what I'm saying? The custom. Ooh. Here, this item is definitely not for my dome piece. However, this is gonna make for a great little bape nut rack. So I'm definitely going to utilize this. All right, guys. Straight out the bins. However, not today. This individual right here, who I'm not even gonna expose his identity today, but just know that he actually purchased this off of someone else who found it in the bins he got it for 10 i got it off him for 60 but definitely a crazy piece right here just look at this beautiful supreme crew neck made in the East canada um right here you see the little supreme tag i believe this is a sean cliver design you guys can let me know in the comments if you guys are more knowledgeable about this particular piece but anyway supreme going all the way down the sleeves i got a couple other heaters today but i will talk about those later on back to the future baby as you guys can see we have a bunch of thrifted goods strewn about my floor we'll go over that during the thrifting recap at the end of the video but right now we gotta go pick up the man twinkie and we are here we got twinkie right there hey and we got hoodie over there looking like a freaking anime character but anyways it's time to hit the goodwill seattle bins as you guys know uh we are currently in tacoma but it's time to hit and seattle. of course before we go we got to get an energy drink red bull or full throttle either way i need some caffeine before i hit seattle And we have arrived. Hopefully we find some heat, baby. Right here we got a little 90s North Face with the North Face embroidery on the sleeve. And of course the right rear shoulder blade looking oh so sexy. This is actually the first find of the day from the first bin that came out. Damn, my yeah, man got Yeezys fire. in the thrifts. Okay. 
found by Jocelyn, the freaking champion. Just so you guys know, this is the individual who also found the Supreme in the last video, which is crazy. My man just stays finding heat out here. But yeah, you definitely need to let Hootie buy these so that way I can use them in my thumbnail. And this man found Supreme today too. What the fuck? Why was he just so casy about it? Like we walked in like, oh, it's just a chill day. That's what we like to see. Bring them out, bring them out. A nice fresh bin to sort through. Ooh, the Takashi 6 9 wig right here. It's iffy, uh, hit him with the blicky, uh, stupid. This is the third North Face that I found. However, well, he found it. However, the lining is all f***ed up. And this happens a lot. You actually need to make sure when you're buying these in the thrifts that the lining does not do this. Ooh, Ooh damn. Hello, authentic. Box you logo. Me? Damn, That's Supreme. Crazy. I yeah, I think it's going to look good, bro. I should just hide it like this. Kind of, <laughs> just, wait, just plant it. You know? Like, little, oh, what's this? That's how I would be too, Loki. If I saw it right now, I'd be so gassed and then I'd be disappointed. <laughs> Legit, you gotta get in it. The whole Winnie the Pooh outfit, if you don't pick like that for the rest of the day, you are this not This probably gonna be hella hot. Damn, Pooh with the see? ice creams? This is crazy. We didn't know Winnie had so much drip. Yo, <laughs> dang. <laughs> got the I think I can pick though. I don't have oh no, look, look. Pooh been eating good. I don't care what anyone says, these two motherfuckers are the freshest in the Goodwill point blank, period. Man in the fur is my uncle. Yeah, these guys are the fresh. The that's cousin. That's my cousin. Yeah, that's cousin. <laughs> not gonna lie to you guys, the last like two or three rotations I have not found anything, which is not good. Time to hit the homie spot real quick. Alright guys, I gotta be kinda quiet because little homie right here is sleeping, but I got some pickups. We got the Curious George tee, which is so mandatory for the personal. We got the NASCAR tee, and we got the Harley Davidson fire. But I'm gonna bid y'all farewell. Oh shit. Y'all bartering? Oh, y'all barter? Let me just uh, go out here because we need to grab some motherfucking food. Anyways, time to eat at YG's mom's and then hopefully go hit some racks because uh, your boy needs to cop some more. And the first store is Value Village. Anyways, we're gonna get inside. I actually hate this Value Village. Uh, it's a love-hate relationship. They got a lot of shit, but it's like if I don't find anything, I just had to search through a million fucking things of clothes. But regardless, let's get in. You find anything? Uh, just this. I I never heard of that in my life. Me either. I had to Google it. Hit the Google machine. And here we are, a new value village. This is the Kent value village now. Uh, hopefully it hits a little bit better than the last one because that last one was freaking disgusting. Always going through these just to see if I can find some Pendletons. Ooh, I like the color of this jacket though. Gonna have to pass, but low key this is the type of shit that like you could pull. What are they, what the, are they smoking dick? This is not tax season. Well, actually it is tax season and I actually need to do my taxes. But that being said, they are taxing and they need to stop doing their taxes because this taxing is ridiculous. Anyways, moving on. This shirt is kind of fire, I'm not gonna lie. On the little uh, Hanes heavyweight from the Idaho lottery, scratch my balls. Right here we got the TN high performance suspension. Random fact about this guys, I went through a phase of being into like import cars primarily just because they have beautiful Asian women and I just really liked all the hot import nights models. I always wanted a car with TN suspension because they had this suspension kit where you could like raise and lower and at the time that was so mind blowing to me that I was just like so amazed that you could just press a button and lower your vehicle. Uh, I was an idiot. Anyways, moving on. Bro, look at this puff print. I love nice puff print. It feels like herpes. <laughs> This isn't quite polar bear pubic hair because it's like a soft blue, but you know, it's definitely the softness of a polar bear's Gucci. Whoever was wearing that was probably also wearing this. Just didn't care about <laughs> just, life just, or themselves. Why are you? In the why are you wearing a denim jacket hoodie? That's printed. <laughs> it's not even the jacket. This isn't there. real. This is a pizza pin. I wouldn't even wear this on an actual denim jacket. <laughs> oh my god! And then of course, you know, this is just. You know why this is terrible. <laughs> panda, 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 panda. Bro, look at these python skin joints. The one stars are kind of going. Why don't they want anyone to hit the lick on them? They only have one. You got to ask for Oh, damn. Just leave my <laughs> you think Sanjeev could pull these off? I know Sanjeev could pull these off. <laughs> you know who else could pull these off? Who? Phoenix. Phoenix can pull anything off. <laughs> I just recommended that we go look at cameras. <laughs> Well, because we, we don't know where Hootie is, and Twinkie was like, oh, why, so we can go find a Leica, which is legit the only reason I want to look at cameras, is because a friend of ours, uh, Ryan, the individual that actually sold me the Supreme tea, uh, the Supreme crew neck, told a story about how he went to a Goodwill and found a Leica, so now I'm always looking at the camera section every time, just in the sheer hopes that I'll get a $5,000 camera. I don't see any cameras. <laughs> <laughs>
right, we are back in the humble abode. Now, before we get into it, I do want to say if there are any items that you want to purchase, if you're interested in buying, of course, hit up Thrift Row. That's T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. I do have a website coming soon. However, right now, the way that I've been selling items, like the way I sold that Supreme jacket, was just from people DMing me and asking me what I want for it. And then, of course, I ended up selling them. So I have sold some items on there. And if there's anything in this haul that you would like to purchase, follow Thrift Row, DM me. And then, of course, I do have a website coming very soon that I will drop the moment I get it all finished looking pretty pretty looking nice. But as you can see, I have a bunch of clothes strewn about. I have clothes in this box. I have clothes on my floor. I have clothes basically everywhere. So first, let's talk about this piece. The piece that you guys obviously saw in the thumbnail is the Sean Cliver. I believe this is from 2012 Supreme Collaboration. I think they did this graphic on Crunex. I did they do it on tees? I don't recall. They might have done it on long sleeves, but I do know they did it on a deck as well. Definitely a super dope piece. Of course, you see the Supreme branding going across in this little arc logo, and you have this eagle crest looking oh so sexy with the crown, because my mother man is a king, ready to spread his wings. Bars, baby. King's wings, you dig? Uh -uh. Anyways, always nice to find. We have a plethora of other goods. I'm going to go through all of these. I got to try to make it quick, because I... Do not want this video to be 20 minutes long. First up, we have this North Face. This is a vintage North Face Nupsy uh, vest. Of course, this is made in the US of A, which is always nice. And you have some little corduroy lining here on the neck region. That way you can show off that you are definitely hip and cool with your corduroy patterations. But if a girl marks your neck, gives you a hickey, a little succubus, sucks up on your neck, then of course you can flip that bad boy up and have the hickey hider. Now, moving on, we have a little NASCAR tee that I got for $5. Of course, this has a front and a back print, always nice to find. And then we got this Harley Davidson tee. This thing is looking oh so sexy. You can see a little icy cabin in the back, but no ice in my man's veins because his heart is aflame. And as you can see, so is his bike. You can see the exhaust just uh, exerting these beautiful chemicals into the ozone layer. <laughs> Need to clear my throat. Moving on, we have this little polo bear. This is a little bit newer, but always nice to find in the thrifts. Uh, we have a, I think, early 2000s Alice in Chains tee. We have this fire Curious George tee. Look at this thing. It's like the gray Marl or Heather Gray. Of course, it's Curious George, the first space monkey. And then on the back, you have my man just straight parachuting in to the abyss. I don't know why he's parachuting if he's a space monkey in a space suit. I don't understand why he would need a parachute in space. Yeah, I, I don't understand. But personal piece from the 90s, definitely gonna keep that in the personal collection. I did find this right here. This is a little Burberry polo. You can see that Burberry tartan on the collar. Pop, 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 pop in my collar. We got this uh, like vintage Disney's piece, it's like a goofy Disney tee. Uh, the tag is no longer involved in the equation of the neck region. You do have a little hole right here. You have Goofy coming down here to play with a stick. I don't know if this is like playing with your stick or maybe he's trying to tickle your abdomens. This is definitely distressed. There's a little bit of cracking on the uh, screen print, but it's kind of cool how he's literally going like around your shoulder because on the back you can see his nut sack just spread open. I don't really understand what my man's is doing, but regardless, super dope piece to find in the thrifts. We got this Pendleton. These are always nice to find. There's no moth holes, no cigarette burns. And of course it is a wool size large Pendleton. Pendleton makes amazing quality outerwear. If you guys are familiar with Pendleton, you guys know these are absolutely essential in the wardrobe, especially for layering purposes when you live in the freezing cold weather. Oh my goodness, this feels like a run on sentence. Moving on, we have the Polar Bear Pubic Hair White fleece right here with the North Face on the titty and notice I said titty and not chesticle because it's a woman's medium so it probably fit like a men's small. Speaking of finding North Face in the thrifts, this is an even nicer find. This is a 90s North Face Hydro Seal freaking parka looking oh so sexy. I saw this in the bins. It was right on top and this man put his hand in the bins and I was like psych you got me and thankfully he pulled his hand away. He knew better. He knew I was not going to let go of this beautiful North Face. I wanted this piece so freaking bad. As you guys saw, we found the little uh, Bape nut rag. And just in case, for whatever reason, if I do not use that Bape nut rag and I do happen to get an individual, a woman, a lovely lady pregnant, don't text me. Then uh, I will give her the Carhartt or donate this Carhartt to her. Primarily, this is a child support blocker. So that way, if she comes hits me with the child support, I'll be like, well, how do you think he's going to be fresh though? If you hit me with the child support, I'm not going to have that kind of money. And I'm going to have two pairs. So that way, I'll have one when he's like, I don't know how old, and then one when he's a little bit older than however old this is but <laughs> anyways moving on we got a Levi's red check jacket always nice to find um this is a little bit newer but nonetheless quality red check plaid jacket you have this right here Hootie got one of these as well I think his colorway was a little bit cooler but nonetheless this embroidery goes crazy look at Mickey with like four arms looking like that dude from Mortal Kombat I wish I had four arms just imagine what you could do you could like 
jack off and still have three extra arms to do whatever you want with like cook clean like i don't that's crazy bro having four arms would be next level anyways you have the palace the kingdom in the back looking so sick this crest is fire all embroidered the thread count is crazy on that bitch. right here we have a little death note tee this was just a pretty cool find nonetheless it's a printed tag but still super dope graphic you have a hugo boss jacket now normally i'm not the biggest like hugo boss guy but just the fact that like this jacket was like a dollar and it's such a nice color it's obviously a quality brand i got a kids north face this right here is uh for my mother she's gonna sell this um i'm not gonna worry about selling kids stuff personally still got more north face we got this north face hoodie this was found at one of the racks that we went to um i've never seen this graphic and look at this north face badge on the shoulder this beautiful like blue colorway looking like the sky or looking like your shorty's eyes you feel me bars i have this like vintage wolf tee um this is just dope I just like this graphic a lot. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, my personal Instagram, the star, T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E, you know I fuck with wolves. You know I got pictures with my man Red, which you guys might actually see him in the next episode. Uh, I got this pillowcase. I really only got this because I like the materials. We got this right here. This is a Levi's button up. I primarily got this because I wanted this freaking Raph Simmons button up that is the exact same red, but instead of a pocket, it's got the little RS patch like sewn in right there, which looks so freaking sick, but I like these silver buttons. Definitely a nice piece to have. Moving on, we got, uh, oh, this is the uh, Odd Future hoodie right here. Look at this Odd Future Wolfgang, kill them all. You got this right here on the left chesticle, the breasticle. Anyways, we also got this on the back. This was actually Twinkie's find, and I bought that off of him. Um, next up, we have a Columbia. This is a beautiful Warriors colorway, Columbia, looking oh so sexy. You got the black, you got the the yellow you got the blue with the columbia embroidery right there as well then moving on we have a personal piece once again this is a little carhartt vest there is no zipper the zipper is broken but it fits me and i definitely want to keep this it's just a nice ass vest and i'm not going to let this broken zipper prevent this thing from being utilized then we have a carhartt workwear jacket originally i was going to keep this as a personal but honestly i might end up selling this just because i have the carhartt vest already and i don't want to keep too much stuff for my personal collection but this is a really really nice color super fire in the thrifts and then um let's see what else we got uh last but not least we got a little north face denali i believe this is a woman's xl yes yeah, so this is gonna fit like a men's large basically we have this little nike crew neck nothing too crazy it's got like this vintage saved by the bell-esque graphic and then you have this cool ass patch on the back it's not actually vintage or anything it's just a cool like nice quality newer Nike crew neck. But my battery's about to die. As you guys can see, that haul is freaking huge. That's everything I found over the like several days that I was thrifting. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you guys want to see more of these videos and you guys like the trips to the thrift, of course, take a quick second, hit that like button down below. Like I said earlier, follow me on Thrift Bro, T-H-R-I-F-T-O, uh, what, 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 what? Man, my spelling bee champion skills are uh, depleting. Anyway, Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. And of course, my personal Instagram, the star like T-H-E-S-T-A-R-I-L-I-F-E. Both of those will be somewhere on the screen in the description down below. So hopefully you guys go follow those. <sighs> And, uh, yeah. For real, thank you guys so much for watching. It honestly means the world. I'm having a lot of fun thrifting, and it's just making me so excited to get back out into the trenches. I'm probably gonna go thrifting today if I can get this video up in a good enough time. Anyways, as always, keep it in the starlight, and peace. The out! Bang, bitch, holler when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.